After you've chosen the image for your ad, the next step is to write words for your ad that are really gonna convince people to click through or take that next step that you want them to take. In this lecture, I'm gonna show you my example, the text that I've written, and also give you some tips and tricks to enable you to write a winning Facebook ad very, very quickly. So the first thing that you wanna do and to kick this process off is really come across to the ad preview here and really see what your ad looks like right now. So remember that if you have added a couple of images up here, you can just come across to click to number of ads, and click across, and you can start to see what your ad really looks like. Now I have gone ahead and updated my headline and text and call to action here, so I can run through it with you. But if you have just uh, loaded this up now, you might be getting some text here and that is because Facebook is pulling it from the page that you were going to be really directing your ad to. Now they do, this is a good base to start from, but there isn't often the type of language there that you would want to. So I'll show you how to edit that now. The first thing that you really want to be focusing on is the headline. You have 25 characters here to really grab attention. This headline appears underneath the ad image and you can see that the text here is a lot larger than text on the other parts of the ad. So if your image catches people's eye, the next thing that they're going to look at is this headline here. So you really want something here that's going to catch them at their attention and get them interested. So what I've done here is put in really a description of what I'm offering. It's a complete digital marketing course and here I start to talk about some of the benefits 12 courses in one so immediately people can see okay well this is an all-in-one course and it's 12 in one so people are probably thinking well that's great value for money this is interesting so for your headline I would recommend you either layer in the description of what the product is plus a benefit or just go straight for a benefit like attract new customers or get a new job or drive leads or something like that. That would be appropriate for my ad. Obviously, the benefit of your product or your service or your app is going to be completely different, but it is important to show that up front. Now, after you have completed your headline, the next step is to work on your text. And this text appears above the ad here. Again, it's a very similar concept. You just want people to uh, really understand the benefits of what you're offering. What are they going to be able to achieve after taking your course, using your product, etc.? What does the future look like for them? What I have put in here is a little bit of social proof as well. So join 40,000 students. So an action word, a little bit of social proof and get a complete education that will set your business or resume apart. So I'm trying to paint the picture about what's going to happen once they uh, buy my product. Also, I'm saying here, get the first lesson free. So it's not a big, they don't have to make a buying decision now. All I'm trying to get them to do is really to click through. So I just need to show the benefits to get them to click through. Now, after you have worked on your text there, you can move down further and click advanced options and see here the news feed link description. So as my ad is being shown, on the desktop newsfeed, this will appear. If I had chosen to show my ad on the right-hand side column, or maybe inside Instagram, this description here would not appear. But it's the same idea again. You wanna show the benefits, explain a little bit more about your product. So I've explained really what's involved a little bit more. You get 12 courses in one. Everything you need to grow a business online fast, get the first lesson free. So a reminder of that call to action again. Now, after you have set your headline and your text and the news feed link description, you can also then set the call to action button. And this is what's appearing here, learn more. Now you have plenty of opt options to choose from and really the option that you will decide on, it depends on the, the type of outcome that you're driving people towards. So. Apply now, book now, contact us, download, request time, see menu, shop now, sign up, watch more. You can see there are a lot of options there for you to choose from. 
So the key elements, once again, are the headline, this is critical, then the text above, text below, and the call to action button. Now I understand that it can be quite hard to come up with these ideas yourself. How do you really sell the benefits and not get bogged down in just selling how your product works or what the features are? Now one great way to get text for your ad that you can just copy and paste is to actually come into Facebook itself and look at the ads that are coming up. What are the benefits that they are using? What are some of the languages that, that they are using? So sign up for free. That's something great from this ad that I could probably incorporate uh, up to 90% cheaper. So making a comparison to competitors uh, were the best way to send or whatever. So you can see that sign up for free up to 90% cheaper were the best way to do X. This is all language that you can use for your own ad. And what I would recommend you do that as you go through your newsfeed over time to start to save some of the ads that you like and the language that you like. Very simple to do, click on save link. Then after a while, like I've done here, you can have a database of a ton of ads to choose from and language that you like. So for example, here is a LinkedIn post that I thought was pretty good. The language exceed your marketing goals. That's anybody could use that language, exceed X, get started, uh, attract new customers, raise brand awareness, drive leads, success awaits. All of this language, no matter what you're offering, is language that you could use. You just copy and paste it and put in the relevant information for yourself. Now, as well as getting ideas from your Facebook newsfeed, you can also come across into Google and look at what the advertisers on Google AdWords are using. Now, you're only trying to get inspiration here. So what I would suggest you do is type in your product name or something similar to that and see the language, the headlines, the text that competitors are using on a completely different ad platform, but still, they're just still kind of trying to convince people to do the same things. So let's have a look here. Learn anywhere, anytime. So key advantage for online learning. 2017 shows it's up to date. Now enrolling creates a sense of urgency. 53% of our graduates got a pay rise. So a clear, tangible result from people from taking this. 88% are in management. So really going with some statistics. That's a great way to sell some benefits. And looking down here, you can see some other ones here um, as well. It's going to be different for your product, but this is just a great way that you can gather ideas. So to recap, once again, the key areas that you should focus on are the headline, the text and the call to action button. Add in that news feed link description if it's relevant. Gather ideas from Facebook or Google AdWords. And really, it can be hard to know if this is really going to be the perfect copy. But as we said, you can test this as you go forward. For now, just get started with something and see the results. So take a few minutes to go ahead and write a winning Facebook ad right now.